So now we're getting to a rather important concept uh, that's known as the aldol addition, okay? Um, like an aldehyde um, hydroxide addition here. So two things that are important here. One is that in any one of these compounds that contains a carbonyl, this has a slight positive charge that makes it an electrophile, okay? The other thing that's important here is that something, the alpha carbon, once this is removed and the electrons kick up to here, this species becomes a nucleophile. And when both of these occur, that's when we get an aldol addition. That is, we take two smaller molecules and make a bigger molecule out of it. So what does that look like in general? So here are two aldehydes, um, propanal, okay, one, two, three carbons, and these two molecules are identical, and they're acting with a little bit of base and water. So what's gonna end up happening, and this is not the mechanism, but um, let's say this molecule right here is the one we're interested in, and this base is gonna take away one of these hydrogens. So this carbon here is our alpha carbon, and it's the same carbon that's over here. So it has a CH3 attached to it, just like it does over here. It is going to attach to this carbon right here, and that carbonyl becomes an OH. It still has an H attached to it, and then everything else that was attached to it stays attached to it, so CH2, CH3. And this is what's known as a, here's an alpha carbon, so it's beta, so this is what's known as a beta hydroxy aldehyde. Okay, um, again, that is not the name of this compound, it's just the kind of compound that it is. Same sort of thing here, if I have two ketones, now these are both my propanones or acetone, and we're doing this in the presence of a base, so this base is gonna abstract one of these hydrogens from this alpha carbon here, so this carbon is this carbon, okay? And it's going to act like a nucleophile on this carbonyl right here. So that carbon there and the double bond O is going to become an OH. And there is still a uh, CH3 attached to it and another CH3 attached to it. And this carbon is beta to this one. So this is a beta hydroxy ketone. Again, that's the kind of compound this is. That is not the name of this compound. We are gonna to wanna to pay attention to the mechanism for it. It's not all that daunting. So let's take a look and see what that really looks like for us. All right, put that over there and line this up. Good. Now, the first thing that ends up happening is base is going to remove um, proton from this. And so I've got some base here, it's going to grab onto that, those electrons are going to kick up to here, so now I've got this carbonyl here. Let's not forget, <coughs> not this carbonyl, this enolate anion, let's not forget that there's a resonance structure, that these electrons can kick up to here, and that oxygen there will get all the electrons. What we're really interested in though is how this one ends up reacting. So, these electrons will go for this nucleophile here, and that'll kick um, these electrons up to here. All right, so here's the whole molecule. And just to show you that this carbon here is da, 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 this carbon. Okay, right there. And the electron and this oxygen right here was this oxygen over here. So they kind of changed positions, and I'm sorry for that, but um, that's sort of where it's at. And then what ends up happening is we have our water that was around before and electrons from that will grab onto this reforming our base catalyst and now we've got our alcohol. Okay, so it's actually really not all that involved. Um, it's just we make some much larger molecule starting from a much smaller one. And if we were to see the same thing here with a ketone, so I've got a base, it's gonna grab that hydrogen it gets electrons up to here, so now I've got this. Now if I'm gonna have, like let's say, um, another ketone here, so I can do this in two colors, CH3, CO, CH3, then these electrons here are going to attack here, kick electrons up to here. So this carbon here, that's in blue, 
is the same as this carbon that's over here. And that carbon has attached itself to this carbon that has an oxygen attached to it and two CH3s just like it did before and then I've got some water over here and it's going to grab a hydrogen from that we're making our OH minus base and this this CH2 here will now have a carbon with a hydroxide and two CH3s attached to it. Okay, so hopefully you can follow with the colors the different kinds of molecules that are on here, making an aldol addition. Um, really, the job of any chemistry teacher, myself included, is to take this rather simple thing and hide it in something very ugly. So these CH3s will become you know, longer, uglier things, but all you have to do is keep track of this portion of the molecule. And if you can keep track of this portion here, Everything else are just basically R groups. Okay, good luck with the aldol condensations.